Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to My Tiny Retirement. I am Christine, and this is a Sunday morning, and we have pulled out all of the garden, put everything to bed for the, for the thing. The only thing I have left to do is to plant the garlic for next year. But you guys, pay no attention to the kitchen. But can you see? All the tomatoes I have left so I'll be doing something with those look at all the green tomatoes these are never going to ripen they'll never ripen so I got up this morning and I decided I am not going to let them go to waste and I'm going to do something I've never done before I'm going to make green tomato ketchup I like fried green tomatoes, but that's a lot of work for a Sunday. I like green tomato salsa. I don't feel like doing that. I like green tomato relish. I don't feel like doing all of that stuff. And so I thought some green tomato ketchup. I've never made it before. Let's see what happens. Starting to turn a bit red. They're kind of red. Even on the outside, if you think, I don't know if you can see this or not, when they look green on the outside, you can see that they've, some of them have started to ripen on the inside. I was wondering why green tomato ketchup turned red. There she is. Let's go see. Are you gonna make ketchup? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do it this way so that we can at least have a counter. All right, you guys. I have cut up the tomatoes. Uh, the recipe I saw called for, I think it was six pounds. I don't know how many pounds this is. Now this is all of the green tomatoes that I had. You know, all right, hard. stop. What you do, you need, now I think this called for like one and a half teaspoons of ground mustard, but I think it was for about half the tomatoes that I have. So I am gonna use, to be quite honest, I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna put in what I think it ought to be, so. This would be probably a tablespoon of ground mustard. Does that look all right? Maybe one and a half tablespoons. I might regret that. If you like ground mustard, put, put a little more if you want. So ground mustard. Let me go through my list of things that go in first be, so I can just start dumping. Um, kosher salt, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper. Uh, the recipe called for a small onion chopped up to go in with this. You guys know how I feel about onions. I, I'm, that, bleh, I'm not putting onion in my relish, but I will put onion powder. So onion powder, uh, black pepper, sugar. Um, the recipe I saw called for like one to two cups of honey. I'm using pure cane sugar organic 
and it also called for two cups of white vinegar for about half so I have doubled it I don't mind vinegar all right so here we go since it called for a small onion I'm gonna do I don't know how about that a tablespoon of onion tablespoon of onion I am going to do this called for like a quarter quarter teaspoon but mm. oh it smells like ketchup already oh where'd you find organic cane sugar <laughs> as your standard of Holy course smokes. He is a fan of Azure Standard. He is he is he's taking the little jelly bean outside. Little jelly bean is demanding attention. Alright, so I'm not real crazy about black pepper, so I would say I probably just put in about a teaspoon. I don't necessarily I can adjust it later if I want to. What was that? Did you just sneeze at me? All right, um, the recipe that I had called for pickling spices, put them in a little cheesecloth or an herb ball or a, you know, you know, make a little satchel and put them in at this point. I don't happen to have any pickling spices, so I'm going to leave it out and I will just use, you know, just keep it really basic. So then you take your vinegar. I hope my pot doesn't overboil, boil over, overboil. Oh, it smells so good, it's you hard guys. Part. Okay, so you saw that I have... Let me move all of this garbage out of your way. So you see that I have salt and sugar. This goes in at the end as you're um, boiling it down to season to taste. What I need to do right now is I need to simmer this and cook it on the lowest setting that I have on my stove for about four to five hours, maybe longer. This is gonna drive Mitch crazy. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, it's gonna drive him crazy. Okay, um, where's my cover? And there we go. I've got it on one. I'll see you guys in about four to five hours. I'm going to check this in between. I'm going to stir it, um, you know, making sure everything turns and does what it's supposed to do. And just keep an eye on it. I'll be back. <laughs> Gerard just came in, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, here we are back with the green tomato ketchup. As you can see, it has been a couple of days. Um, this took way longer than I thought it would to cook down. Um, and by then I was tired and it was nighttime, so I just put a cover on it, put it in the fridge I've, once it cooled down. Well, this was a couple days ago, and as you can see, a lot has happened. <laughs> The hair is gone. <laughs> I had one of those days where the hair was in my face. It, it was warm and muggy, humid. It was gorgeous out, but my hair was just sticking to me. And the sweat was everywhere. And Mitch walked in, and I was going... <laughs> That's the sound of shears, in case you don't know what those are. All right. So I have warmed my green tomato relish back up. I'm going to put it through a sieve to get the, uh, the big chunks out. I mean, you could put an immersion blender in here. You really could and blend all this up. I'm not going to do that. And, oh, my goodness. Okay, at this point, this is where you season it. Oh yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to put, what would this be? This is kosher salt. I would say that is about a cup, half a cup. And I'm gonna probably put, this is sugar. What was that, also a cup perhaps? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you want to taste this, Mitch? Sure. Coming in from behind. Here. Coming in from behind? Yeah. Right, let's see. That's good. That is good, isn't it? And I'm not a ketchup guy. I know it, but that's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now. Mm, it's got some good. It, it does it. have some zing to it, doesn't yeah, it? it has Even has a little bit tang. of heat. Yeah, it's just more tang than anything. I am going to simmer this on a low heat, just like this, until it hits the consistency, until it reduces down and hits the consistency that I like my ketchup at. And you know what that is. You know what that consistency is for you. But do it slowly so that it doesn't get away from you. And, and there that. you have it. Green tomato ketchup little water bath canning stick it on my pantry in fact it probably won't make it to the pantry one of these is going into the refrigerator right away and out of all of those green tomatoes I got two quarts so there you have it